Hi, I'm Arman, I animate 2D characters for games. I use Spine 4.0 version and today we are in the second video from the series where we animate Sun. We have finished the surface animation and today we will be doing core and crown animations. I am using this library. I don't draw anything from scratch. I just use and combine them and maybe manipulate them deforming meshes some clever way. Uh, let's see what I have picked so far for our crown animation. Let me zoom in. Crown and the core. I think we can combine those to achieve nice effects. Okay, let's get started. I've downloaded all PNG sequences into project and changed color of this effect. Let's also check the other effects. This one we had previously and the surface. Let's also see the core. Yeah, there is it. Okay, let's see them in spine. Now I have imported them and animated the keys. Also, I have added bone for each of them so we can easily move and combine with our existing effect. So this is how it looks. Before combining them, I would like you to note that some of them don't match the timing. So for that, we can either expand it by stretching the keys, which will make it slower, contract it by duplicating uh, another set and contracting it or we can just go which I think uh, I will select this way we can go at, at the end fade it out for a few frames and also we will need to fade in at the start so also a few frames there so this is how it looks I will go this way because I want to overlap another uh, fire effect just duplicating it so for that I will come and select fire effect, duplicate it. There is a bug that sometimes it doesn't copy attachment keys, this ones for example, but it copies this one. So for that we will just go delete this and duplicate the bone. I don't know, maybe it's not a bug or just a feature, So, but I don't understand how it benefits us. So when we copy with bone, we can move the slot into original bone and everything will work fine now. So now I will just offset it, also offset the alpha keys. Let's copy this one here and see. Yeah, I think I, I like this effect. I, for this one, I will just expand it. Okay, now let's combine them. To combine effects quickly, we can go to setup mode and with preview window enabled, we can see animation directly, even if we move the objects. So let's drag the core first and see how it looks combined. Now it's too solid and too bright or I don't know, I don't like it. Let's change it to additive, but I don't like it either. Let's, let's uh, duplicate it and have smaller version, but uh, without blending mode. Um, let's see. Let me turn back blending mode of this and move back one layer. Uh, so we have one here, right? Let's let's rotate. Yeah, I think I think this can look better. Let's move the fire effect. Let's change all slots to additive. I use additive blending mode a lot. It's like magically brings alive all the effects. Let's move the glow. I see the effect ends up being uh, noisy and like messy. But I want to concentrate on the features that we learn here and techniques and not the final effect so you can be proud of me. Of course, I, I would like to see it being amazing effect. But let's concentrate on making, uh, learning some new stuff. So this, this glow will actually indicate the surface of the sun. So let's try to match it with the previous effect and this line. And let's finally move this effect. Mm, I think we need it at the zero layer of ordering. And it's too much. It doesn't look like sun. You know what? Let's let me actually mesh it with circle circular rings. Uh, so let's. I'm going to mesh it circular way as in previous video I did 
but this time I'm going to create rays uh, with modifying meshes. Let me let me actually mesh it, and you can see now. I have it meshed. You can see I have three rings, and now I'm going to bind it to these two bonds, which are children to root bond. This one. So let's bind it. And only after that, I can come back to this bone and scale it. Uh, let's weight it back to this bone. Oh. And now what I'm going to do, just select a line of these vertices and move them to give some kind of illusion of rays as some would have. Uh, let me do this. Now we have it bound. This is the result. We also can rotate in animation. And you can see that it doesn't animate anymore because we have removed all other frames, just kept the origin one. Uh, this is because we wanted to work with one frame and after that just create linked mesh. So every other frame just copies, transforms from this mesh. I created linked mesh. Now I duplicate it two times and it generated path name which we don't need. We need uh, it to read files from its name directly. And let's let's also animate it because animation also got removed. Let's copy past it. And this is being crazy. Let's let's calm it down. Uh, now I will move it here in setup mode align it better and let's work with those bonds okay i think this looks fine but also reduce the opacity yes also, let's try to rotate and play a little bit with this. Uh... After playing a while with this effect, I ended up duplicating it and creating a little bit variation with color, rotation, and etc. So this is how it looks. Now, if you are curious to see how it would look if we all combine in Photoshop and only after that bring into Spine. You can stay tuned. So I'm going to do it now. You will see the benefits of doing it in Spine, part by part, modifying meshes and changing colors and doing all in Photoshop. Okay, let's do that. After having drawn effect frame by frame, there are a bunch of ways to combine them. It depends what material you are working with. I have PNG sequences. I also have MOV transparent files, video files. Uh, I don't know if you know or no, but we can directly work with these files in Photoshop. Also with PNG sequences, of course. So for now, I will grab the effect one by one and layer them in Photoshop so we can see. Let's start from Fireball, which we used as core of our sun. I think this one, yeah, let's drag it into Photoshop. And you can see that timeline opens up and we have it here, which we can play. We can export it as we want and it is transparent. So let me grab all the effects I used in Spine and see how we can combine them. I have added them into Photoshop by dragging and dropping here. And you can see they have added one after each. We don't need that. We need um, one of, on top of each. So for that, I will need to remove them from video group, which is different than normal group. It's basically like sequence. Everything inside will behave as sequence. So let's move all back in time. And we can see that we have, we need to adjust some colors which we can do basically as we do in Photoshop, like select the layer and add a adjustment layer, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to fix everything 
and export it and bring it to Spine so we can see the result there. Before rendering and importing into Spine, I want to show you how you face the problem with the time differences. For example, this one doesn't fit here and even if we duplicate it, it will expand the timeline. So for this case, I will solve this two sequences differently. This one I will create a new smart object. So whatever uh, modification we do doesn't apply to first one. So now we enter inside and change the speed of this track a little bit faster so it ends up shorter. Uh, let's let's make it faster a bit more. Yeah let's see. Yeah now it aligns. And for this one, I will actually go and key opacity here. Bring it to zero. And make it 100% few frames after. Key the opacity here to keep it stable until this point. And, and maybe bring it down here. Let's see. Yeah, now let's align those layers, this adjustment layer, they don't contain anything. And with the loop playback, which is enabled, let's, let's actually isolate this layer so we can see what we just did. So we added alpha, fade in and fade out. We can duplicate this layer as we did in Spine, but I'm not, not going to do this right now since this is just technical breakdown and just to see what we benefit. Okay, this is the final look. Let's increase this its size. And now I'm going to render this. I will end up 24 frames and we'll see what we have in spine. For rendering it, I can hit this button uh, or I can come and export render video. Make sure you select it image sequence PNG and you can this way save it into project and import it in Spine. Let me do it. Finally, I have it rendered and imported into Spine and animated it. You can see that this is one sequence. So of course we could do better in Photoshop aligning and maybe adding some more effects. We can enrich it how much we want. But what we can't do in Photoshop is to add blending between the layers because they can't blend and export that blending feature. So at the end, we will end up with one blending information. We can, of course, add blending in Spine, but that would apply to all effect. And another thing that we can't manipulate some effect like we did with this one, we manipulated, modified the mesh. And so at the end, it uh, really has some limitations of the uh, flexibility of effect and playing it in spine. But at the end, it gives us very small image atlases. Let me show it. This is the, what we get after exporting from combining in Photoshop. You can see that the size of the image, 4000 and 1000 pixels and this is what we get from spine this is twice as big of course we can uh, select some effects in spine like the circles i wouldn't do of course them in png sequences i would animate this circle in spine like bone scale and rotation or whatever or we could like take this effect you can see that it is very small so we could select some of them and resize make them very small and adjust them but at the end, what Photoshop gives us is uh, it combines in one uh, image. So at the end, we will have smaller uh, export size. So that was it. This is the final result. The right one is from Photoshop and the left one we did in Spine. I will be adding more effects on the sun, like a burst of energy, that solar waves uh, and yeah, I think maybe I will add some background when you need some dark space with stars. I don't know. 
That was it. Um, make sure you are subscribed to see the next video. Thank you. Bye.